We got a game. Let's put it on um, focus mode. Play a Dutch. Uh, let's go here. This is the Hikaru Dutch. Put the knight on a5, you play like c5, bishop d7, queen e8, a6, b5. This is also in my Dutch course, although I haven't played it in ages. Hopefully my opponent's not checking their opening course. That's why I, that gets me so mad. Your opponent spends like 20 seconds. I talk about this a lot. It happens definitely at lower level. Your opponent like tanks in the opening, then plays all the best moves. It's because they looked at their opening course. It's not because they remembered. Okay, d5 is the move. And now you play knight a5. And now white has many ways to defend the pawn. b3 is... Yeah, that's one of the ways. Now c5. And c5 stops b4. And so now all my counterplay is centered around this move. So a6, b5. Um... Cannot remember if I need to go b6 here. Okay, let me just do it. I mean, I might have some tricks, maybe, but yeah, can I play knight e4, knight e4, take, take, a bishop c3, bishop h6. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't, I, I don't really feel like having a battle right now. Yeah, so I'm thinking take an a5. So I'm undermining b4, and I'm trying to regain control of c5. That's, that's my... I can't remember. Yeah, that's the problem when you don't play an opening for a while. But I think this is logical? It's a bit slow, though, and I need to be a little careful. Also, I can't actually take. Okay, let's take with the rook. Outside pass pawn? Now I have some asset? It's kind of nice. Okay, I don't think that's a good move. Wasn't this my idea anyway? So now I target the knight, and I have like queen c7. Like, slow. I can also take and play knight c5. You know what? what do, let's play dynamic chess. Knight c5. Look at this. This is nice. A4. Where am I putting my queen? b6? Okay, rook b1 is probably coming. Can I play, like, knight? I'm just gonna go here. He's gonna go rook b1, queen c7, and just push the a-pawn. Queen b6 was stupid, I should've played queen c7. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the bishop, because it's white's best piece. I mean, the outside pawn is gonna do some nice stuff for me, I think. This bishop is not really a factor at all. It's a nice piece, but not when the center is closed. Then I have to slowly make progress. I think f5 is a little rushed. Uh, f5, e4. I can trade and take on c4. Uh, okay, let's advance. We're now three squares from queening. I kind of feel like the queen needs to play defense. The queen is not playing defense, so I will continue to march. Now I'm two squares away from queening. Now the queen is playing defense. Uh... I have something here. Just need to figure out... This strikes me as the correct move. Then I will reposition. Let's back up. I want to protect my back rank. That that does not look. That does not look correct. All right, let's reposition. I feel like this is the slowest game ever, but I'm still. Yeah, the reposition is nice. The queen moves. I play a two. I 
I need to get my queen out of here. Of course, I mean, of course they just find the, the best move always. They always find it. They always find it. Ah, that's so annoying. They always find it. E5 doesn't work. Now I'm going to have to... What? I'm going to have to win the game in three moves? Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that was cool. Um, It was an interesting game. So this is bad, yeah? A3. What was my best move here? Bishop d7. It is bishop d7. And before? Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. Wow. Knight c4. Oh, man. Queen c7. Queen b3. Rook c8. Wow. Now I know. Yeah, I, I mean, I had a feeling, you know? But I, I mean, I thought I got a good position. That yeah, was fine here. Okay, this was great. Queen b6 was a, such a stupid move. I, I thought I was gonna quickly organize some play, but this was—I mean, Queen b7 was Queen b6 was so stupid, so stupid. Yeah, then I gave my opponent some play. Knight d4 is a bad move. A3. I thought I did nice. This was the yeah, I rushed. Okay, I have to play it. Fe, Fe, yeah, of course. I I missed Rook b3. Yeah, Fe is nice. But I, I didn't know what my next move was. I guess it's just like e6. Something. It's h5. Okay. And what after h5? e5. That's sophisticated. What does wim mean? It means better than you. That's what it means. Just whatever the title says, it just means stronger than you as a chess player. <laughs> 